Hi there, I'm Maddie Harland and I'm in my forest garden with Nicola Peel who is a solutionist and I want to ask you today, tell me a bit more about Grow Your Own Clothes and what all of that is about. Well, I mean, Maddie, you know, we, we all know about grow our own food. Absolutely. But grow our own clothes. Grow we're our not own really houses. talking about that. Grow our own houses, no. yeah. Grow our own clothes. This is, this is where we're going. Okay. Because I think that, you know, we're becoming aware that the fashion industry, after the oil and gas industry, fossil fuels, is the second most polluting industry on the planet. So, you know, why is it so polluting? Um, cotton, we're starting to find out. Obviously, we can't grow it here in England. And, uh, and it uses so much water and so much chemicals. I mean, if you're a little bug, you'd like to live in a cotton ball. And so a huge amount of pesticide has to be used, huge amounts of water, and then the dyes, some places, their rivers are running green and blue and purple. And so it's not really working, the fashion industry at the moment. And so we're looking at alternatives of how can we here in England start to grow more of our own clothes. And, and one of these ways is through kombucha, the kombucha mushroom. So the kombucha mushroom grows like a kind of a leather. And um, I've just joined up with Stella McCartney and started creating some like, you know, new clothes made out of the, the spider's thread, um, which is, you know, human made spider silk and kombucha. So these two ways of being, we could grow them here and be able to make our own clothes on site. So this way of then have kind of zero mileage, we could be able to, you know, grow our own kombucha here and if we knew how to thread it and actually cut it and sew it, we could actually make our own clothes. And, and coming back into looking at dyes, you know, this top I've got on here is made from indigo and wars were fought for this colour. And yeah. we've forgotten about the beauty of natural dyes because chemical dyes are cheap and easy. And that's what the world is running on right now. So we really have to kind of question moving in a totally different way, coming back to, you know, these old ways of, you know, really valuing natural dyeing and starting to grow more dyes, which seems to have been forgotten about as well. So how are we going to move to having, you know, more of our own clothes that we grow ourselves, we grow our own dyes, has got, you know, huge potential for the future. Thanks very much. That's great. So that was Nicola Peel. And uh, this is our YouTube channel, Permaculture Media. Can I ask you to sign up and subscribe to the channel? There's going to be many, many more great ideas and great little films coming this way. So don't miss...